and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you a simple and easy way to knit a pixie bonnet for your doll. The first thing you're going to need to do is take some measurements. The first measurement is from one side of the jaw over the head to the other side of the jaw. And make sure that you take notes of these measurements as you go. The second measurement is from the top of the forehead extending about two or three centimeters beyond the crown of the head. So now that you've got those measurements, it's time to knit a test square. So using your preferred yarn and the recommended needle, size needle for that yarn, cast on 10 stitches and knit in stocking stitch for 10 rows. Take a measurement of the width of your test square. As well as the length of your test square. Next you're going to do some basic calculations with our measurements. So you're going to take that initial jaw to jaw measurement and divide it by the width of your test square and times that by 10 because 10 was the number of stitches we cast on for that test square. And this is going to give you the number of stitches that you'll need to cast on. You'll also get that front to back of head measurement and divide it by the length of your test square and times that again by 10 because we knitted 10 rows. So you can see that my initial jaw to jaw measurement of 28 divided by my width measurement of four times 10, it gives me 70 stitches and my front to back of head measurement divided by 4 times 10 gives me 30. So I want to cast on 70 stitches and knit 30 rows. So here's my 70 stitches that I've cast on and I like to use the long tail cast on method and I'll link a YouTube video to that method below. So you're going to want to knit 4 rows of 1 by 1 ribbing. Um, again I'll link a YouTube video below on how to do that. And then you simply knit in stocking stitch until you get to your desired length. So we took a measurement, sorry, we did a calculation to determine um, how many rows you would need to, to knit to get to that length. However, you can simply keep knitting until you get to your desired length. So for me, my desired length was about 12 centimeters. So I'm going to knit until I get to the 12 centimeter mark. And when you've gotten to that length, you simply cast off and you'll be left with a rectangle that looks something like this. So what you do now is you fold your rectangle right sides together and you're going to take a piece of yarn and a tapestry needle and sew that back seam together. When you finish sewing that back seam together, tie off the yarn and turn your piece right side out. And at this point it should be looking something like this. So at this point you could leave the hat like this, however the bottom edge of the bonnet isn't going to sit around the neck very well. We actually need to shape that bottom edge of the bonnet to be a little bit smaller. So the way I'm doing that is I'm casting on a stitch on the bottom edge every second row. This part can be quite fiddly, so just take your time and be patient. So after you've cast on your stitches, just go ahead and knit that row. And after you finish knitting, you can just cast off. So like I said before, this is just going to help the bonnet taper in at that bottom edge a little bit more. And that's going to help it sit more snugly around your doll's neck. And at this point, you can try your bonnet on your dolly model. So you can see here that it fits nice and snugly around her neck. Um, and yeah, it's looking good. For the last step, we need to make the ties. 
So for this you, you'll need a crochet hook that's the recommended size for your yarn and you just cast on using um, a slip knot. You'll then crochet a single crochet but you'll put your hook through the bonnet at the bottom corner where you want your ties to begin and pull the loop back through and this will secure your ties onto the bonnet. Then all you need to do is chain stitch until your ties are the desired length. Use your doll as a reference to see how long you want your ties to be. I think this length will be perfect for my doll. Tie off and do the same on the other side. Using a tapestry needle, weave in all of the loose ends and trim them and then you're done.